Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'm a master student, Olali Sadun, from Basra University. I will come to my seminar. The title of my seminar is Antioxidant, supervised by Assistant Professor Dr. Zainab and Professor Dr. Ahir. We will talk about introduction about antioxidant, oxidative stress, Generation of reactive species Types of free radicals Sources of free radicals Effects of free radicals on different organs of human Antioxidant action Classification of antioxidant Natural and synthetic antioxidant Antioxidant benefits and polyphenol as antioxidant. So, what are antioxidants? Antioxidants are the chemical compounds which can inhibit the oxidation of other molecules. Oxidation reaction can produce free radicals, which are unstable molecules. In turn, this radical can start chain reaction, which cause harm or death our cells by damaging the cellular protein, lipid, or DNA, leading to many diseases. Oxidative stress Under normal conditions, cells are able to balance the production of oxidants and antioxidants. Oxidative stress occurs where there is imbalance in our cells due to either an increased in free radicals or decrease in the antioxidant. This figure shows how cell attacked by free radicals and converted it into a damaged cell. Free radicals are atoms or molecules having one or more inverted electron in their outer orbital. Therefore, they are very reactive and unstable. There are two types of free radicals, reactive oxygen species and reactive nitrogen species. Reactive oxygen species include hydroxyl, superoxide anion, hydrogen peroxide, single oxygen, peroxyl, and ozone. Reactive nitrogen species include nitric oxide, nitric dioxide, Proxynitrate, nitroxyl anion, and nitrous acid. Effect of free radicals on different organs of a human. Free radical effect on many parts of a human, causing several disease. In the brain, it causes Alzheimer, Parkinson, stroke, cancer. In the link. It causes asthma, allergies, cancer, the blood vessels, it causes hypertension, and responses, while on the skin, it causes aging, sunburn, and dermatitis. It also causes many of kidney disease, neuritis. Diabetes, fatigue, and liver injury. Generation of reactive species. Superoxide anion radical is one of the strongest reactive oxygen species among the free radicals, produced by the addition of single electron to oxygen. Superoxide anion is an initial free radical formed from mitochondrial electron transport system. Its reaction with superoxide dismutase to form hydrogen peroxide, which is producing agent and can generate the hydroxy radical in the presence of the metal ion and superoxide anion through the Fenton reaction. 
Also, it can produce single oxygen through reaction with superoxide anion or with hypochlorous acid in the living system. The superoxide anion can react with nitric ox oxide and produce peroxynitrate, which can generate toxic compound such as hydroxy radical and nitric dioxide. Sources of free radicals Free radicals formation in the body occurs by several mechanisms involving both internal sources and external sources. Internal sources like metabolism, reactions involving iron and copper, xanthine oxidase, NADP plus oxidase, mitochondrial electron transport, external source like ozone, air pollution, UV rays, smoke and alcohol, and the drugs. So, how antioxidants work? Antioxidant donate an electron to a free radical, thereby reducing its harmful possible reactivity. Antioxidants act as scavengers, stealing electrons from free radicals and in the process help to prevent cell and tissue damage that could lead to the cellular damage and disease. Antioxidants interact by binding to the free radicals and neutralizing them so they can no longer cause any harm. This figure shows you how antioxidants act as a free radical scavenger and convert it to a stable free radical. Classification of antioxidants Antioxidants are divided into two types. Enzymatic antioxidant non enzymatic antioxidant. Enzymatic antioxidant includes superoxide dismutase. This enzyme is assisted by copper, zinc, manganese, and iron. Superoxide dismutase breaks down superoxide anion into oxygen and hydrogen peroxide. Catalase. This enzyme Convert hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen by using iron and manganese as cofactor and finishing up the detoxification process that superoxide dismutase started. Glutathione peroxide. This enzyme helps break down hydrogen peroxide and organic peroxides into alcohol. An enzymic antioxidant includes glutathione, lauric acid, polyphenols, retinoids, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin A, zinc, copper, selenium. All of these act as antioxidants and reduce the process of lipid peroxidation. We have another classification according to their origin. Natural antioxidant, synthetic antioxidant. Natural antioxidant includes vitamin C to present in fresh food, vegetables, and vitamin E to present in vegetables oils and polyphenol present in coffee, vegetables, chocolate, tea, fruit and soy. Crown weights present in fruit, vegetables and eggs, while synthetic antioxidant includes mutilated hydroxytoloin and mutilated hydroxy anisol and propyl cult. 
Antioxidants have many benefits. Slow aging process, lower cholesterol, decrease risk of other sclerosis, reduce risk of heart disease and stroke, slow Alzheimer disease, decrease the chance of developing tumors, reduce the damage caused by cigarettes and smoke. Polyphenols as antioxidants. Polyphenols compounds act as radical scavengers and collatable oxidant metal ions. It also acts as agent capable of enhancing resistance to oxidation of low-density lipoproteins that cause many coronary heart diseases. Phenol compounds have high antioxidant activity due to its phenoxyl radical that could stabilize whole structure through reasons when it reacting with oxidant. Flavonoids. Flavonoids are especially effective because of structural features, including conjugation to further stabilize radicals, orthodehydroxy substituted purine loss for collation of pro-oxidant metal ions like iron tubulus, iron tubulus, copper tubulus, AB unsaturated ketone, and rehydroxy on syring. Quercetin is a potent antioxidant because it has overized structural features for free radical scavenging activity. Phenol compounds have been proved be more potent antioxidant than vitamin E, vitamin C, and the crown white. Thank you for listening.